Dondi, Judy, let's talk about the severe thunderstorm warning in effect now for Lexington County, also parts of Aiken County, and you'll see it right here until about 630 this evening. We're tracking thunderstorms producing winds in excess of 60 miles an hour and also some hail out there. This storm has exploded over areas here in Lexington and Aiken counties. We'll zoom in just a bit more and you'll notice the red and orange colors indicating some heavy rain over this extension of Old Two Notch Road here and Haven Road in Lexington County, Ranch Road, and also near, how about Bagpipe Road and even Oleander Road. This continues moving mainly to the east at about 15 miles an hour. So if it continues on this track, Pillion, be on the lookout. About 642, this will be likely heading toward your direction, although the warning expires at about 630. Also, we're watching for showers and storms that might approach areas like Edmond and also areas near Wagner there in Aiken County. Now, you'll notice the progression of these showers, a little outflow starting to develop here as it moves to the east. And we're not tracking much in the way of severe weather for Richland County right now, but still, this is a system that we will continue to watch. Everybody won't deal with rain this evening or tonight, and once we lose the heating of the day, the showers will go away. A look at future cast for the next several hours will show you that chance of a couple showers around the viewing area. Otherwise, overnight, not as much rain out there. Maybe a little sprinkle about one o'clock in the morning. Overall, though, some low clouds and fog by seven, eight o'clock tomorrow morning. Then as we go into the afternoon, the heat and humidity acting together to pop up a few showers and thunderstorms into the afternoon, early evening, and then we'll likely do it again for your Thursday afternoon with that chance of showers and storms. Also talking about the tropics, this is potential tropical cyclone six. It is moving just south of the Virgin Islands. Sustained winds at 35 miles an hour. And it's moving to the west northwest at 17 miles an hour. We put a track on this storm as it continues rolling to the west northwest. Could become a tropical storm later tonight. Moving over Hispaniola here, starting to weaken a bit more. Then as a tropical storm again, this is the weekend forecast. Saturday afternoon into Sunday afternoon. That cone of uncertainty opens up pretty wide there. There's still a lot of uncertainty with some of the forecast models, and you'll see it right there. Pretty compact until we go into the extended forecast. And so at this point, we'll have to wait and see. Stay tuned. We're also watching another area of low pressure to the west coast of Africa here has about a 20% chance of development in the next five days. In the meantime, we're tracking severe thunderstorms. We're also tracking a few clouds out there and temperatures by nine o'clock about 84 degrees. I'm also tracking a little bit of a cool down in your first alert 10 day forecast. It's so good to see you on a Friday evening with a look at your first alert weather headlines. A little cooler into Saturday, mainly dry weather for your weekend, but more showers and storms for next week. Your planning forecast for tonight, a few clouds, temperatures about 53. Mostly sunny, not as warm for tomorrow, upper 70s, warmer into Sunday, but a few more clouds in our area. Now we have one front to already move through, one cold front. There's another one on the way. It's going to be a dry one as it moves through, and it's going to push away a lot of these clouds that we're seeing over us right now to our south. That means a cooler start to tomorrow and plenty of sunshine for most of the day for your Saturday. Then as high pressure builds offshore as we go into next week, we'll have more moisture, more of this flow here from the south to work with. And an approaching cold front means an opportunity for rain and thunderstorms for part of next week. Your forecast for tomorrow, there goes the sunshine, 53 at 7, 61 degrees at 9, 68 degrees at 11. And as we roll into the afternoon, we'll have east to northeast winds, and then they'll turn from the south as we head into the afternoon, 77 degrees by 4 o'clock. Perfect day to hit Soda City Market on Main Street in Columbia starting off tomorrow morning. You'll see temperatures about 64 there at 10 and about 70 degrees at noon, so enjoy. The average high is about 80 degrees this time of the year, so slightly below average for tomorrow, above average for Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, 90 degrees. But we start talking about more heat, more humidity here, and an opportunity for showers and thunderstorms. You'll see that rain chance this weekend about zero, but then we go into Monday about a 40% chance, a 30% chance into Tuesday, and a 40% chance into Wednesday. Here's that moisture that I'm talking about, the long range forecast model, and many of you are saying, you know, Dominus, we need some more rain. You'll have an opportunity, but the rain will be a scattered variety for us Monday, Tuesday and Wednesday. Here goes Monday here towards the noon hour with the chance of a few scattered showers here and there. Once we lose the heating of the day, those showers will go away. We'll do it again into your Tuesday, about a 30% chance though. Wednesday, though, if this happens, a cold front might pass by. That might give us an alert day because we're going to have temperatures under the humidity there in the 80s. 
more uplift and so we could be looking at more scattered showers there. So the rain chances might change a bit as we go through the next couple days. Low country beach forecast, not too bad for Saturday. 80 degrees going into Sunday, mostly cloudy. The Grand Strand, 69 degrees there, 76 into Sunday. Your first alert 10 day forecast shows temperatures here at home. 79 tomorrow, 85 for Sunday, 84 degrees going into Monday, near 90 for Tuesday. You see that chance of showers and storms through Wednesday and a 20% chance in the Thursday. Next weekend is Mother's Day weekend. Mostly sunny for Saturday, partly cloudy for Sunday with temperatures near 80. We know that we have the heavy rain that's going on. I'm so glad. I'm so happy that we have a roving camera at this point because this gives us an awesome opportunity to see what's going on in your neighborhood right now. This is one of the best things. This is like Christmas to me when we have this because it allows us to see what's going on in your neighborhood and what's going on in your in your yard. We have a new Severe thunderstorm warning now. This is going to be for areas, and we were just talking about this a bit earlier, so if we yep. can go back to the map, uh, we do have a severe thunderstorm warning now in effect for parts of Lexington and Richland counties, which includes uh, downtown Columbia here until about 4, let's see, let's make sure we uh, click on That's probably this. over here. That'll be the, yeah. until 4.30 this afternoon. So uh, this system here that we've been tracking, we'll go back to that image in just a second because I really want to see that again, uh, but you'll notice that we have the tornado warning that still continues for areas in Lexington County, but now we have a severe thunderstorm thunderstorm warning in effect for areas in Lexington and Richland counties until about 430 this afternoon. And so whenever we talk about a severe thunderstorm warning, we know we're talking about winds in excess of 60 miles an hour. We know we're talking about the possibility of hail. And as Vaughn was saying, there is likely some large hail out there falling from these th thunderstorms that we need to respect across the area. So uh, Vaughn, if we can kind of zoom into these spots underneath this warning, the new severe thunderstorm warning, which includes uh, Columbia, that will be great just to kind of see what's going on and, and, and we can get, you know, and, and includes areas Areas that we were talking about a bit earlier, South Congre, Casey, uh, near the St. Yeah. Andrews area, near the fairgrounds, downtown Columbia, but it also includes areas near Malfunction Junction. And so there are going to be some spots here. And you already know how bad Malfunction Junction gets around this time of the day when we do traffic. And so it's going to be a rough commute for some folks uh, along Mineral Springs Road. This is what we were just talking about. So um, if we can go back to that camera, maybe we can show folks what we're doing there and, and go to the camera there. Uh, Mineral that we have on. Yep, it's near Mineral Springs Road yeah. uh, in this general direction. I think this is where our roving camera is headed. Do we have that, Victoria? Are you guys trying to get it for us? Uh, but we have some heavy rain that continues over parts of that area there. Um, and that tornado warning again continues for parts of Lexington County. So we have the heavy rain. Uh, we have a, a, a very, very, uh, I mean, it's a rough portion of the day for us to have this heavy rain and the thunderstorms moving through. And now you still have this tornado warning again. The rotation isn't quite as strong as it was a bit earlier, but this is where we've had a roaming, a roving camera here from Cromer Road to Mineral Springs just off of I-20 in Lexington County. So we've had some ground truth out there to let us know uh, what's going on. We know that you're having probably a tough time watching all of this and saying, goodness gracious, is there going to be another tornado warning for our area? Uh, right now we're just seeing a lot of severe thunderstorm warnings, uh, mainly indicating some heavy rain and the gusty winds and the hail that we're seeing from some of this activity. Uh, but you'll notice we have this that has developed. We also have this activity that's developed over to the west. And, uh, and, and you'll see, as Vaughn has put now a track on this, uh, all of this is headed toward downtown Columbia in just a second. Uh, it will be headed toward areas most likely in northeast Columbia. Um, uh, affecting portions of the Irmo area, uh, most likely is not going to affect areas there toward Ballantyne. I think you're going to get the second one that's over in Saluda. There's another warning that just popped up. Another. So you're going to hear a lot of bells and whistles this afternoon, everybody. Yep. Uh, remember this war the system I was talking about over Fort Jackson. Um, now it's a severe thunderstorm warning, so you might hear some bells and whistles, and there you go. That goes until about 4.30 this afternoon for areas in Kershaw County, also for Sumter County, and areas in Richland County, too. That's until, again, 4.30 this afternoon that we're tracking this system here that continues on that track generally to the east. So there are going to be some spots in Rembert, Horatio area, most likely near Dalzell, that will likely have some rough weather near your area. And as we kind of zoom in, this is going to be near McCaskill's, right over the McCaskill's area. Again, another rural area here that we are tracking. So I may have to pull out the map in just a second, but you'll see uh, Screaming Eagle Road, Hayward Higgins Road as well, Shady Grove Road, Bauman Road, and there are a couple other areas here near Fox Hill Road, mm -hmm. seeing some very heavy rain, gusty winds in excess of 60 miles an hour, likely some hail from some of this, and it continues rolling to the east. So we have several, and it, it, at some point we'll, we'll 
show you again, but we have several severe thunderstorm warnings and only one tornado warning for the area at this point.